Hey, what's going on? I'm going to use Plurize to sync some audio real quick. So I'm going to put this audio video down here, video that was recorded of me today. It doesn't matter when it's recording. And then I'm going to take this audio here. And uh, let's go to my Dropbox. And this is audio. All righty, hold on. Where did I put it? <laughs> I'm going to throw that right there. Alrighty. And then once we put it there, we throw it here. I'm going to hit synchronize. And there we go. There goes. If you're not doing it, you're like, man, I'm slacking. So it really pushes you to. Uh, so that is the camera audio. You see people succeeding in that hitting their goals every month. And it's kind of like terrible so we'll do this it pushes you because when you see other people uh getting their goals and you're not doing it you're like sounds good to me man i'm slacking so it really puts before the audio real easy it needed to be there so uh, i'll just raise the audio just a little bit here uh, not only with julia's help with his help and just talking to him and processing some things uh, just seeing a plan and really grasping a plan. And I think without his help as a mentor, it would have been a lot harder for me to make that leap. Okay, so that's fine. So, so <coughs> I'm going to just hit export timeline, and then I'm going to do it in, let's say, do Final Cut Pro, Media Composer, Premiere Pro, or I can do video files. So if you do video files, you know, you can just do the video file. Or I can send it to Premiere Pro. It's going to give me a Final Cut XML. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do export. It's going to ask me where to export it. I'm just going to put it uh, right here on the desktop. I don't really care. And then it says, where are my exported files? Right here. <laughs> Double click XML. All right. So there it is right there. So then I'm going to open up Premiere Pro. And once I open up Premiere Pro, I'm going to open up a new project. All right, I have a test project already. Uh, all this stuff is on the desktop. It's probably not the best way to do it. I'm just being real with you. Um, let's open up a new bin right here. Right here. Let's go new folder. Uh, let's go for eyes to you. So we're going to go file import. And then we're going to go to desktop. And then untitled and Final Cut Pro. Uh, once I put it in, you'll see two sequences <coughs> created. Okay. And it shows you sequence one. Oops, not that one. Not even that one. Underneath of here, camera one sync sequence. And this is a synced sequence. Guaranteed goals is really. And this is the sync sequence that's replaced. Be there or needed to be there. So you're not. And it cuts it there. Like and that's. I like that one. I'm going to hit ripple delete. So what I achieved this year, um, I quit. Okay, so that's that's it right there. You need. And then I'll just color correct it a little bit and go from there. So that's Plur Eyes real quick. And I'm using Adobe Premiere. Um, and I just exported the XML right into Premiere. Okay? Take care.